I have a question. What does the loss to the Vikings mean? I was an English teacher. What does this poem mean? What does this loss mean? As a way to enter the topic, Iggy, <laughs> what did it reveal about the Niners that particular day against the Vikings? Well, that particular day, Sam Darnold was better than Brock Purdy. That's one, which was surprising. That particular day, Kevin O'Connell and Brian Flores were better than Kyle Shanahan and Nick Sorensen. And considering the Niners played there last year and lost by almost the exact same score, it seems like if the Niners were to have to face the Vikings in the playoffs in Minnesota, that'd be rough. So those things. Okay. <clears throat> Does the, the loss have an overall meaning? It may. Down the line, maybe we'll see that certain things were revealed in this game, but like losing one game in September and falling to one and one doesn't mean it's the end of the world. That's how I feel. I've been reading and hearing a lot of stuff like, oh my God, they lost... <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing, guys. It's cold down here. I'm taking a cough drop. Oh, my God, they lost to these guys. They lost to Sam Darnold, blah, 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 blah. They've had seasons where they got off to bad starts and got off to starts with losing records. In addition, I imagine they thought they'd lose a game, one game at least this season. So I don't find this to have an overall meaning that you can project after two games. Now, some things concern me. Six sacks is very concerning, and it would indicate or would it seem to indicate that the offensive line is very good at run blocking. I mean, it's really good at run blocking, but not so good at pass protection. And it would also seem to imply that Brock Purdy is a somewhat mobile quarterback, but if there's a lot of pressure on him, he does have trouble getting away. Um, a lot of quarterbacks do. I thought he was, um, I thought the offensive line would do better, although they don't invest money in it. And I thought Purdy would be a little more elusive. And it surprised me that he wasn't. So that was one of the things that concerned me. Another was that, um, Ayuk was almost like phoned it in. Yeah. He, he almost was Iggy. He almost was a non factor. And I think it's very amusing, ironic. After he kvetches that he's not being respected, and then he gets way more money than he's worth. What do you have? Four catches, Iggy? Yeah. Well, that's not a hell of a lot of catches. And that's not taking over a game. Now, Kyle said he was open and the, the guy threw to other people. Maybe. So that that kind of got me too. The other is, and this really got me, the Vikings' number two running back, not the number one, the number two had an easy time against that defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had a really easy time running against it. Um, so... I mean, you know, uh, um, Bosa had two sacks, but where is he about uh, stopping the run? Yeah. Where are all those guys that stopping the run? They got, I would say they got beat up. The Niners got beat up in that game. The other yeah. team was not only smarter, it was tougher. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those things are troubling. Having said that, I still think the Niners are really a quality outfit. I do. And I think um, to say that they're screwed after one loss, a bad loss, because the loss was worse than the score. The guy uh, fumbled at the uh, at the goal line. The loss was worse than the score. They got beat up. Um, but to say that they're screwed or their season is in peril after one loss would be way, way of an overreaction. Do you think I'm being too gentle on them? No, I don't think anyone's saying they're screwed or their season's in peril. I think we've all been 
looking at them all off season and, and thinking, is this the year? Because it feels like they're 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 getting older and their Super Bowl window is shutting, and that this is gotta be the year. They came so close last year. Some people felt that uh, on paper this team is even better than last year, but um, they go into Minnesota and lose again to that team. And this time it's not Kirk Cousins; it's Sam Darnold. It's the same result. And now Christian and Christian McCaffrey's been hurt, but now Debo Samuel gets hurt too. Um, and you're looking; it's like, is this team getting old? Really? Is this really? Does this feel like the year they're going to win the Super Bowl? Like maybe. Maybe, but yeah. the Vikings look like a better team than them right now. They certainly did on Sunday. I don't know if they were a better team against the league. I, I'm not ready to make any judgments like that. They're not more talented uh, than the Niners. They just looked better coached. They sure did. They looked um, hungrier, better coached, and tougher. Yeah. A tougher bunch of guys. Mm -hmm. On paper, they the did. Niners are the best team in the league, but... Anyway, but but it's not on paper, and boy, now they're really hurt, and now they have a lot to prove without Debo and Christian on the field at the same time. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. They are really hurt. What I was going to say, with the holdouts of uh, the two guys who held out, the, the left tackle and, and the overrated wide receiver, and McCaffrey getting hurt, and now Debo getting hurt, Iggy. Their season, it's almost like in a play or a novel when all the portents are not good. Mm -hmm. That And some of them aren't their fault. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying it feels like almost that the football universe is said, you've had your chance. Now we're going to conspire against you. There's almost that feeling. But again, it's only two games. And it could turn out that the Niners go, 16 and one uh, and and they win the Super Bowl and Kyle Shanahan is indeed a great coach and we've underrated him. It's way too early to, to, to write them off. No one's writing them off. I think it's also important to remember that most of these guys didn't play in the preseason, the, the good starters in the team. And so this is sort of like the preseason for them right now. And um, they'll get better. The, 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 catch, the question is how many players will they lose to injury because they weren't in, quite in football shape before they pull out of it. And we know the Niners are going to go on a run this year unless they're totally decimated. But the only times they've gone to the Super Bowl is when they played the NFC Championship game at home under the Kyle Shanahan. So they lost an NFC game to a team that looks like it's going to be really good this year. So um, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Iggy, who's a better quarterback, Brock Purdy or Sam Darnold? Brock Purdy. Why? Because... At least until this game, I felt that Brock Purdy had uh, a better ability to make play like positive plays on his own, spinning away from pressure, get away from a sack, create a play that's outside of the design. I used to think that when Darnold tried to do that, he was a disaster waiting to happen. You had to sort of like tell him to do less where Purdy, you could trust him to do more. But in mm -hmm. this game, I mean, Darnold was the one scrambling. Darnold was the one that made the big throw down the field. Purdy looked like Jimmy in this game. That 97-yard uh, touchdown pass, Purdy cannot make that throw, Iggy. I think he's a better quarterback. Don't get me wrong. If I'm choosing up, I want Purdy, not Darnold. Purdy cannot make that throw. And there is no receiver on the Niners who can make that catch and bring it for a touchdown, cut no. across the field. Jefferson... No. It's that much better than anyone the Niners have. Absolutely. My ball, Zach Ertz, says, I use the promo code. I better get my jersey. If you want to sign Ricky Pearsall jersey, use promo code Cohen on the sleeper app. Chris Groves says, what's up, Grant and Lowell? Wanted to tell you that on Sunday morning, Jeff Manns on Fantasy Sports Radio gave you a shout out on how, on how great of a journalist you are. Love the show. Love you guys. Thank you, Jeff Manns. Thank you. Was he talking about my dad? I think he's talking about you. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Holland says, Grant, love your dad. Grew up on Lowell Cone and Ira Miller. Best in the business. And you are getting there. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, Grant. Love your content. This coming from an old guy. Um, Thanks, Herbie. Old guy. I was just in Montreal, Canada with Ira Miller. We, I just got back um, late, late, late Saturday night. Um, Ira and I are great friends, and we had a wonderful time in Montreal together. Yeah, so how about that? 
fish and chips. Hi, Lowell. I don't want Kyle Shanahan passing Bill Walsh tenure reign. <laughs> Can you imagine Kyle think... Shanahan coaching this team longer than Bill Walsh did? Yeah. I don't think Bill has anything to worry about where Kyle is concerned. <laughs> Demarcus Jones says, should the Dolphins trade for Trey Lance? Not my problem. No, I don't think they should trade for a project. MM Forever says, Brandon Staley. Brandon Staley, Chargers is destroying the Niners, period. Brandon Staley. Well, the Niners defense didn't look great in this game. Herbie Holland says, we will now see if Brock Purdy is a franchise quarterback and if Kyle Shanahan can coach some football. 